Welcome again to Burmar Farms. We get up in the mornings and look around, make assessments. We wake up and we see the general stuff that's going on in the world. It's warm down here in the sunroom, but it's 19 degrees outside. We look outside and Take a look at the animals. See the frost and the sea of breathing out there. I see the air coming off of her. And then we got the steers right here. And, and you know, we just make a general assessment of the day. And there's the Samson cat eating. And look, the nativity scene is still in the same place. Rita has been up here though. So, but, and then, uh, yeah, so, good morning, how are you? Today is the 20th day of November, and I just want to say, here, even if, uh, even, I want to take notice, even what we hear on the news, I want you to keep in mind, because there's so much what's going on in the world, keep in mind that you're serving Jesus. He is your master, the king. It's him who you serve. Listen and read your, your Bibles. Make sure you find a church that has a Sunday school, go to the Sunday school and go to church and hear the word of God. You won't know God until you get with him and read his word. Okay, we'll see what we're going to go through for today. And we'll take you around today. Thanks for stopping in once again and uh, follow us through this day. I'm trying as hard as I can to keep this avocado tree. We've had it pretty much a year now, and I mean, it is just, it grows and it dies. It grows and it dies. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I even put it in a nice pot. But it just, it's hard to, anyway. It's time to go out and start the day. We went up one degree. It's 20 degrees now. Yes, it's cold. It's cold up. I gotta take the garbage out. That's part of my daily chores is taking that garbage out. Yes. There's old glory. The wind's blowing a little bit. That old Mexican flag, she has tore up. But uh, I'll get that replaced. But, uh, let's take the garbage to the garbage. Let's take the garbage to the garbage can. There we go, they're taking the garbage out now. Let's look up in here. There's a half a chicken, supposedly, up in here. Let's see. Let's see a real lot. There's squirrel. Huh. There's squirrel. There's a couple more squirrels. There's a squirrel. And... Here is a half a chicken. Uh, 20, October 26, 2020. So we'll see what that does. Yeah, we got squirrel, and squirrel, and squirrel. I like squirrel and dumplings. Yeah, I love to make dumplings. There's a, what is that right there? That's a ribeye. That's some kind of bones. 
Here's a little squirrel. Well, we got some good squirrels. And there's some, there's some baby rabbits that passed away that are used for turtle bait. And, uh, yeah. Okay. There's a half a chicken. Right there. That's October 14th. Okay, so let's, uh, let's eat one of them halves, huh? Okay, we're grocery shopping. Yeah, okay. That's what's been asked to do. So let's, uh, let me, let me set you down here. I'll be right back. Well, I fed the larger animals. They, uh, they'll adjust fine. I, uh, next, to, next we'll go in and read the scriptures. We do a, a, a chapter a day and, uh, in the Bible. And uh, we'll read a commentary and read a devotion and we'll discuss what we read. And then after that, we'll carry on through the day. So that's our next, uh, that's our next uh, series of the day. And then I'll go up and get more wood in the uh, wood carrier 4200. Yeah. Okay. Let me get some scripture read and I'll join back up with you, okay? Well, one of the projects I got today are, is uh, I gotta move this. I gotta park it back over there so I can plug it back up. It's been running four days, five days. It's been running five days on its own. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm satisfied with that. It's working well. It's working well. Yeah, I'll move this today. Move it back over there against the garage. Plug it up. Because, you know, I figure... If, you don't need, if you're not using it, you should at least move it. That way it stays alive. Because if it's laying dead and sitting still, it'll deteriorate. The old saying, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That... <coughs> <coughs> works well on our travel trailer yes oh let's look at this she said I asked her about the decorations and she said she'd already done it so let's see if I can open this up today nope I guess I still gotta use two hands I still gotta use two hands Christmas decorations. Let's look and see if it's as directed as it is in the house. Let's go in. Here we go. Well, there's Christmas ornaments hanging right there. Okay. Uh... And there's a candle deal. Okay, so she's begun at it. It's not got no light. I think we need to put a Christmas tree up in here. Lights and everything. We're going to do Christmas in here too. Yeah? Well, okay. Well, I sure do like this. Mm -mm -mm. I really do. I like it. Let's look and see what the power on it is. Still sitting at 26, 67, 61, 26, 71. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm really satisfied with this. Okay. 
Let's close the screen door because she wants the screen door. That way the flies and the bugs don't get out. I've got to get some kind of felty thing right here. Uh, some kind of uh, a brush or, you know, they make some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Weather stripping that's got some kind of fuzz or brush or bristles on it. I'm taper screw in right there. Yeah. Okay, this, I'm going to uh, let you go right here. And I'll get back with you when we get on another project. get a basket to collect some eggs. Uh, let's uh, enter the ashes too. This is something that I would really want to learn. Yeah, see right here? I have ashes and this is all hardwood too. That old oak. So I'd like to learn how to make soap out of that if I could. Um, I have to devise something to drain the water with. Uh, I got a uh, an old uh, house plant stand and got one of them plastic water bottles and I got it turned upside down with a chore boy stuffed up inside it so the rainwater will uh, go down through there and pour through the ashes. I think that, that that's how it's done. I've tried this once before with beef tallow, beef fat, and uh, on the stove in there and just didn't get the mixture right. But I would love to learn how to make this soap. Uh, just, I guess I gotta watch YouTube enough to get the idea of it. But yeah, let's go down and empty the ashes here and, and uh, collect some eggs. Oh, I hear chicken chickens. What are you doing? What's up? What is it, Ike? Ike, 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 Ike. I just dump the stuff in there, let God take care of the rest. I don't water it, I don't cover it or anything and every year I get a good pile of uh, dirt out of there <coughs> I replenish the garden and well, let's go okay I'm back with you let's collect some eggs here see what we got going here that froze last night I woke up this morning it was 19 degrees Oh, there's two chickens up in here. It was 19 degrees overnight, so I don't know how long it stayed. Uh, 19 degrees. I guess enough to make a difference. You know. I don't know what. Here you go, chicky chicky. Well, there's four eggs in here. They're warm. They might not be frozen the way they said on what have you. So let's go up inside. Uh, see what's inside. It's always a surprise when I come up in there. It's, I don't know what to expect every day. But. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got the old chicken. She's in here. So let's. Let's collect some eggs. Well, we got one busted yolk one in here. I like to just turn that around and she's frozen. 
No, she's gonna break them. You just feed that back to them. One, two, that's a sticky one. I'll just throw that to them too. Two, that one's cracked too. Three. Now these are a bit colder up in here, so they've not been set, they set up on the roost up in here, I guess. Because they've not been set on. It's comfortable enough, see? But, uh, and that's where the other holes right there are. But yeah, they sit on the roost right here. So, that's, uh, See, in a place like this, this is where I'll get my hand at the editing right here. I'm gonna go to hook this up. I gotta clip this right here because raccoons still have lift that hook. So in the winter time, I open up the door and let the chickens run through the whole yard and everything because i know they turn the they turn the ground up even where miss cindy plants her flowers and eats what insects are left and digs stuff up out of the ground and that's good that's good for the ground let them do the work but when the springtime comes and she's got the flowers going and everything and we plant everything i gotta lock the chickens back up so they don't turn up everything make everything ugly all righty i'm gonna let you go with this right here and uh I'm gonna put the eggs. I'm gonna put the eggs in the house. So I'll be back. They, uh, I guess they must have been sitting on them hard because the ones up inside there, a couple of them were cracked. Not cracked like cracked and frozen. Yeah. But cracked and sitting on them. Hmm. Reminiscing, huh? Yeah. The said bread and. Tyler, you're separating names and pictures? I'm uh, just kind of going through. Yeah. That's creepy. And I'll move this book out of your way. I'm not going to give you more room. You want to move this too? Yeah, why not make it comfortable for you? These are all lances. They're pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, but in case you need to push it up a little bit more, you know. I'm just trying to help you there, love. Okay, very good. Isn't he the cutest little beach bum? I think you're kind of biased, man. I, I am. Know. Man. Lance, he was a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. Here's me. Wow, that's old school. Ain't it, though? That's me. And that fun. And there's no writing on the back of it to see who it is and what year. See, is there a date? No, there's not even a date around the edge. Huh. That's a cute picture of you. Yeah. Yeah. I got things going. Right now, I'm doing a study on Genesis. Our Sunday school class is going through Genesis, and it appears they'll be going through it. Uh, this quarter and next quarter. So that'll put us at six months going through Genesis. And Genesis is a very, very important book because it is the beginning and it, it shows the the genealogy of it and uh, the importance of justice and, uh, and, uh, and righteousness and redemption. It even shows the redemption in there. And uh, there's many stories that give a, a type or a shadow of uh, what it's to look like and what's going to happen. And then, most of all, it gives us the promise. The promise to Abraham. He'll curse those that curse them and bless them that bless him. And uh, that's, uh, it goes a little deeper than that. But uh, as you study Genesis, you learn the basis of it, who God truly is. And those of us who have not read for a long time or read uh, intentionally, have a tendency to make up who God is so that we can be comfortable. 
this little uh, this little unit right here, don't forget, is depraved. And it's a product of a fallen man. And so it's going to, uh, it's not going to line up with God a whole lot. Unless it gets convicted by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so this is where I study right here. Okay, I can't help it, you know. Um, I just like the Lord, amen. And, and I like the part about... I like the part of being a Christian that tells others and just telling other people about Jesus, I think is the greatest gift that you can give somebody. So what I do, uh, I read Warren Worsby's, or I've got many others. I've got Calvin, I've got uh, Ironside, I've got uh, J. Vernon McGee, I've got uh, Lightfoot who does a study of New Testament, and they have all of all of be green. So I have several uh, uh, different times in the world uh, and uh, the men wrote of the past praise God for men that wrote in the past but today I like to after I do read these I like to just sit and ask the Holy Spirit what are you telling me for today amen okay look at her we got Charlie Brown Christmas clocks going off right so I'm gonna um I'm going to listen to Chuck Smith, too. I like to listen to Chuck Smith's uh, uh, commentaries. He has a commentary set. Um, of course, he's found, it's the same thing's found on YouTube also. But it's a, a, a series, a C2000 series. It's uh, through the Bible, completely through the Bible. Chuck Smith teaching it. It's audio, but uh, you can sit and listen to it. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this man right here. I like this man right here. So, I've got a variety of people. Uh, I don't follow him. I follow Jesus. But I do listen to what he can say and what he does. So, so I'm going to uh, start I'm gonna start it and then I'm going to turn you off or change you out, okay? Holds to what God has declared. And thus the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Okay, I've spent 25 minutes in here listening. So, and I've read from Warren Wordsby's there. So, um, let's get on with the day and try to find out what's going on here. See if we can get into stuff. It's still cold outside, but I think we can do something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 